Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about a new feature that GitHub has very, very quietly released into the wild called, uh, there's actually not even a name for it because there hasn't really been an official release of it to my knowledge. Uh, people on Twitter are calling it GitHub profile readmes. So uh, if you have used GitHub in the past, you'll know that a GitHub profile page looks like this. Uh, this is my GitHub profile page with my avatar on the left, my repos over here. Um, and what's neat is that you can now actually add custom content above your pinned repos with a GitHub profile readme. So let's just take the time to make one for my website and show you, not for my website, for my GitHub page, and then you should be able to do the same in just as much time as it takes me to and probably faster. The thing that I actually am looking forward to most with this is being able to do this whole video without leaving the browser. That is like where GitHub's trying to get towards where you can kind of do all code just in the browser. And this is an example where I'll be able to do so. So um, the secret to GitHub profile readme's is when you make a new repo to name it with your GitHub username. So look at that. I found a secret. <laughs> Ooh, you found a secret too because you're watching it with me. Uh, it's a special repository so you can add a readme to your GitHub profile page. Make sure it's public. Initialize it with a readme to get started. Uh, I'm not going to add any description. Make it public. Um, I will initialize it with a readme, uh, git ignore. Yeah. Let's make a JavaScript. If there is one or a node, there we go. A node. I don't know what license I want. Do I even care about a license? Not right now. Let's create the repository. Uh, and then also just for, uh, just for, um, sake of comparisons, this is how it currently looks. Let's make this new repository. I haven't done this. This is live folks, live and recorded. Uh, it says hi there. So this is my, it's saying it again. It's a special repository. It's readme will appear on your prof, on your public profile. Send feedback. Uh oh, what did I just do? No, nothing feedback now. But now if I go to my GitHub profile page, look at that right up there on top, a little, little hi there. That's it. If I compare before and back, you can see this whole new section is here and you can literally put anything you want in here. So I can actually go into here because GitHub continues to invest in their online environment. I can actually just say, I am a YouTuber. No surprise for you, you can watch me on YouTuber. Check out my channel. And I'll link this using some markdown. Do I have this memorized? I think I do. I always forget the actual URL. I get nervous. Is that the right one? It is. That's me. Cool. So I can write that. I'm a YouTuber. Check out my channel. Just like that. And now let's save this. Add link to YouTube. Commit changes. Okay. Three me is updated. If I go here and refresh. Bada bing. That's pretty cool. Uh, people are doing some really, really cool things with this from uh, using GitHub actions to dynamically update the contents of this section, maybe a future video, to just pretending that it's MySpace by having your friends in there. Uh, literally it's Markdown, which is a, it, it can contain arbitrary HTML right? Markdown contain HTML. So you can pretty much put whatever you want in this space and pretty much is uh, my space before developers. So you just saw how simple that was. I like didn't leave the browser. I made a new repo with my GitHub profile name and just have it appear there right now. And what's this button do? Oh, this lets me edit real fast in there. Uh, I'm going to play a little bit more with this in my own time so I can give you some more ideas when we, uh, get back to chatting you and me. But uh, if you make an update your GitHub, if you add a GitHub profile readme, link it in the comments. I wanna know about it because MySpace 
has not been gone long enough that it's not time to bring it back again. Thank you for watching. Catch you with the next video next time.